Hey everyone, BTM Kiwi back here again with another Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown stream. So, haven't done one of these in a little while, but um, there's been a new content drop. I actually forgot to do this last night when it first released, about 15 hours ago now. Um, so let's just get straight into this. I was going to do it, I kept telling myself, DLC's out today, DLC's out tonight. DLC's out tonight, but I forgot because I was watching a movie <laughs> and then a series on Netflix. <laughs> um, Alright, let's just jump straight into this. We're going to go have a look at this aircraft. Ooh, there she is, 80FX01, a Morgan. Oops, as always, I'm going to read you guys the aircraft description. Um, a fighter developed during the Balkan War, it started off as an experimental aircraft created by a government-run weapons production facility in the south of Balka, but was later completed by the Allied forces headed by the Ocean Federation after the Alliance took over. At 23.9 meters, I'm guessing that's length, the ADFX-01 is extremely large, allowing it to carry an arsenal that includes high-output lasers and multi-purpose airburst missiles, as well as twin engines and forward swept wings with cannons, all made with the latest technology at the time. These features came together to create a highly maneuverable and capable fighter against even newer aircraft. Another interesting feature is the aircraft's ability to engage in electronic warfare, or EW, with its very own EW system. First version, Morganite, was implemented in the Balkan War, where the data on the device's utility spoke for itself. Consequently, the technology was upgraded to allow for simultaneous electronic data accumulation, analysis, support, and defense. With EW having gained even greater importance in modern warfare, the ADFX-01 is capable of overwhelming the enemy with firepower and leading, supporting, and sharing vital information with allied aircraft, effectively dominating the combat zone. So, yeah, I remember this in Ace Combat 4, I believe it was. Pixie had this and it was a bitch. It's such a pain in the ass, this plane. Yeah, that giant laser on the back is so ugly with that laser. Cluster missile exploding when close to a target. On impact, it releases explosive warheads damaging a wide area it locks onto air or surface targets and is useful against a group of concentrated targets. A weapon providing electronic support and causing interference. Electronic. Weapon providing electronic support. Uh, for a period of time, it lowers the efficient the efficacy. I think that's a word. I think that is a word. <laughs> it lowers the efficacy of enemy missiles across a wide range, or enhancing yours. It lets you take control of it. Yeah. But we're gonna have to try out both of these. Now that's a big weapon. And so is that, I think, because this was the very first laser weapon. And then the Falcon came out, which superseded it was pretty much the prototype for the Falcon, I believe. I wonder where this thing is. It's probably embedded in the aircraft. Let's check out her skins. Not bad. It's quite a good skin. This is pixie skin, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the one ring, wing being red. Oh no, here we go, the pixie skin's last. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the only difference with this skin, is that it's got pixie's emblems. 
Otherwise, you can customize it with your own emblems, I'm pretty sure. With the special skin. Which I'd be inclined to do. Since we got some new emblems, and I do like the original Phoenix Squadron. Because of the purple in it, I don't know why. I'm just a sucker for purples and stuff for some reason. Take her through some missions. I just thought an easy, I don't care. Be the very first one, I don't care. And then we'll take her on multiplayer um, for a match of each weapon. Is everyone here? Um, well, we probably don't need to take her on with the laser because we've all we all know how that works, but. It's a little bit disappointing that the lasers for these special aircraft, which are designed around the laser, with the laser in mind, aren't extra powerful or don't have extra ammo or whatever, since the other weapons that get it is like an additional add-on, whereas these are built into the craft's airframe, the airframe and stuff. So, it's a little disappointing about that side of things, but apart from that, it's cool. Yeah, you can see the similarities between the ADFX from a top-down silhouette between the um, ADFX and the ADF-01. It would be cool if it would show a year that they were built. Wow, it holds a lot more missiles. But it's got less parts. And its stats are so much worse. And the Falcon, and the Falcon's worse than the Raven, and the Raven is about the same or worse than the Stroke Wyvern. Wow, that is... That is very disappointing for DLC planes. That, they're that bad. Okay. The Raven's good all around, but the Wyvern's still probably better in general. Stability, that's an enhancement to the maneuverability. Alright, um, let's try the new weapons. We all know what the laser does. Okay, I definitely want to sort these missiles. Homing is bad. Uh, where's SP missile? Flight speed. Load limit for sure. Lock on range, reload time, the probably the reload is bad as Regular missile power. 
We've only got room for one more thing, so we're gonna go for the body. We've only got one thing, which is super maneuverability. I probably don't need the damage thing. Um. Pitch maneuverability, that's important. Those two are both really important. Pitch and roll. Since the reload is already slow, I'm going to take away the reload. Oh, I never put it on. Huh. Um, all right. That should be fine then. Um, just making these all lined up. I don't know why I do that, but... Mood Squadron, aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. This will be interesting. Radar sight still silent. Scramble. Get those birds in the sky. We're sitting ducks. What's happening? Bombers incoming. Don't know how many. Let's clear that runway. We don't got all day here. Mate squadron, head to runway. Column squadron, take off. Link to Skykeeper. Hurry, mate squadron. Guns right in the center. Mage two, warm up with Mage one. All aircraft, let's do this. Golem squadron, it's go time. Roger that. It's quite stable. This is the AWAC Skykeeper. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst and stay sharp. We'll go. That's quite cool. Good job, Mage two. Not bad, Mage two. So in multiplayer, I won't Turn really need to care so about speed, speed stuff. I just need to care about maneuverability to get out of places fast and this missile. have one to fire even though I've got two. Target confirmed down. Looking good, mage two. That's a bit mage sad. Two. Targets in range, pair of bombers. Trigger stay calm. You got this. I know the kid's shown some promise, but let's remember he's still barely gotten his feet wet. Trigger, don't forget your special weapon.
Let's see if this gets some more. Quite a handsome looking aircraft though, despite its massive size. She's not overly fast, but... See if we can hit one of these maneuverable enemies. Pretty basic cockpit. Oh, I like how you can see the feet pushing in when I use the rudder. It survived. Oh, because it's a TU 160 rather than a 95. Jeez. That survived. Far out. Sign of bandits. You're in the clear. Good going, Mage 2. Flight Commander looks like he's got what it takes. Let's slow down. It's just one sortie. Don't try to be a hero. I want you to make it back in one piece, you hear? Yeah, I gotta side with the boss man on this. Column Squadron, this is HQ. Did you confirm any drones? What's the deal with all the drones? Column 1, return to base and report for debriefing.
Let's try seeing how good this electronic warfare device is now. And then I'll take her online and see how she does. We are currently a... Hopefully I can re-pick my aircraft and special weapons. Just by hitting the right. No, nope. okay. It says it's meant to um, decrease the effectiveness of enemies' missiles while increasing the effectiveness of mine. So that would be good for multiplayer. That would be like a good weapon to use against the QAM spammers. But you would be limited to your um, regular missiles. I'm just quite surprised that that last plane survived a direct hit from this. That's quite shocking. So this that weapon has no um, parts for it. By the looks of it, not seeing any changes to stats. Right, miscellaneous, does that help? So this would be a good combination with that, to make you stealthy, as well as um, using this weapon, which lowers their effectiveness even further. Um, increase maneuverability further. That's weird, I'm in campaign mode. <laughs> Regular missile, flight speed, load limit, I've got one more, so I want homing capabilities, alright, we are set to test out this new weapon, well it's not really a weapon but not that I will really, I don't even actually need it in this probably, to be honest. Since these guys barely shoot back. Radar sight's still silent. Scramble. Call sign is page two. Verify and read back. Page two, clear for takeoff. Situation is tight. It's a hell of a recruiting party. We have to do I don't see it anywhere, so it's built into the aircraft. Expect the worst and stay sharp. Welcome. 
So we've only got 12 of these. There it is, sitting there all pretty, just waiting to be taken. I wonder how long it lasts for. We're gonna find out. I'm going to wait till I'm about 2 kilometers. So it increases the range of all my missiles and everything. Target confirmed down. Looking good, Mage 2. Mage 2, targets in range, pair of bombers. Okay, so it lasts till about two thirds of the reload. The kid's shown some promise, but let's remember, he's still barely gotten his feet wet. Trigger, don't forget your special weapon. And. It has a range of about two kilometers. By the from the size of that um. It's just a bit bigger than that um first circle, which is about just slightly less than two k. So it's about two kilometers that it reaches out. About to run out, there we go. Oh, there, trigger, settle down. Mage two, maintain your element with Mage one. Do not break off. Mage one, make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Welcome. Go to two, let's maintain element. Call me back, Commander. I've got your six covered, sir. Radio. Gollum, Mage, two new enemy groups. Attention all combat groups. Are there any drones? Verify. Drones? Are you kidding me right now? Jesus, this is the kind of shit that really chaps my ass. <sighs> UAVs? I can't tell them apart. It's not very good at that stuff. I'm hitting the accelerator straight away, it takes a bit because it's older to kick in with the acceleration. Okay, so this one can do it at about 500 kilometers an hour. It still wants to stall, even at the maximum speed, so don't try doing those maneuvers because it's shit. Yeah, it doesn't like them. Alright, I'm pretty sure we've seen enough of that. Since it's not really a weapon. So let's try her out in multiplayer. I'm wondering if... An enemy locks onto you when you've got that electronic warfare kit on. Like they might be able to fire from outside the ring, but I wonder if as soon as the missile enters that ring of um that sphere of um effect or whatever it's called. <laughs> um sphere of influence. I'm wondering if it will take effect of the missiles, or it will only take effect of the, of the enemy aircrafts if the missiles are fired when the aircraft is within the range of that sphere of influence. So that will be interesting. Um, can I make an aircraft tree? Yes. No, it's set.
We don't need to use the laser and multiplayer. We all know how that works and it's pretty shit. <laughs> um, I'm going to make one of those and one of these. We'll try out this one first. So that's just greatly enhances acceleration, so I can probably cut that out. It's just top speed, and that's acceleration and top speed. Super maneuverability. All right. Now, just the regular missiles. And I want for multiplayer that stealth I might just take off these. Load limit. Now I've got damage, load limit, flight distance, lock on rain, reload time, I don't care about that. Homing. All right, now because we've got that coupled with this, increased enemy missile homing capabilities and speed, and the lock-on distance and flight distance is also increased. And that's multiplayer only, so it's going to have massive, hopefully good homing, a good homing range. Um, all right, so that's our electronic um, warfare set done. Um, I'm going to take the miscellaneous off and put them back on just because I, I don't know, I'm a stickler for that sort of stuff, like, for the colour coordination stuff, um, yes, can I name the set, no it doesn't let me name the set, alright, and we're going to make an airburst set, and we saw how weak it was against the U160 so I'm not, I'm not expecting too much from this. It's a little bit disappointing because I thought it was going to be so I'm like really good and viable, but um, yeah. And for this one, I might no, I'm not going to go the pixie skin because I'm not using the laser. Now, parts. I definitely want super maneuverability. Your, no, I want not roll, I want pitch. So I can turn in a lot stronger um now is there anything for special weapons in the miscellaneous part a standard missile reduce respawn time okay Whoops, wrong button. Um, definitely want to increase the power of regular missiles.
and I probably want to actually use that miscellaneous for the standard missiles. Just because it's so useful, and then the rest is for my special missiles. Um, SP missile, SP missile. There we go. Um, damage. Yes. Homing. Yes, and I need homing, homing, homing. Damn, how much does this use? It uses 10, far out. That means I need to get rid of something. I don't really want to get rid of the... this, but I could go maybe that. Load limit. Special weapon load limit. Actually, I've got two. What do I have? Ah, it's just the regular missiles. Special missile power. Homing capabilities. And I can't have anything else with standard missiles, so that's gonna have to be okay. I can't have anything else on the body. Can I? I can. This defense is quite high. I could go stealth again. But the rolling is pretty important to breaking away from a lock to just roll it to the side and just pull up. Tough decisions because they're really important. They're both good because a lot of people like to stay at a distance, so. Um, let's just do stealth. That should be fine. Um, I hope that'll be alright. Uh, all right i think that's everything so we'll try the electronic warfare one first and then we'll go for the multi-purpose first missile No room was found. Wow. Everyone's playing Battle Royale. I'd hoping I would be hoping they'll be playing. There's not many servers. Jeez, that's a bit sad. Wow. See, I can't do any of these with this plane because everyone doesn't want them in the match. It's stupid. And if I go and try to make a match, I'm not going to get anyone. Oh, it'd be nice if I could just get into maybe a another server, because no one plays in our region, in the Australasia region. Um, even less now. Jeez.
Oh, definitely joining that. It's TDM Unlimited, so I can use it. I'm just going to be hoping that my mic isn't able to be heard. Are you kidding me? What an asshole. voice chats off Well, these guys are Asian, so I'm going to be having a bit of lag in here. Got a full room. <sighs> Come on, people. Damn it. Mizo Yoshi, what's he doing? He's the host leader.
good. The thing he wanted his friends to join him, so he was waiting for room. What do you reckon, guys? <sighs> Electronic warfare? Yeah, electronic warfare. So I was, so I was probably the first person in the world with this DLC. <laughs> Well, at last, less time in multiplayer. Shit. I don't know how that hit me, it's got such... Uh, doesn't matter. It's very strong. I want that duty's worth more. It doesn't last long a multiplayer at all. Wow, I'm not sure how he's getting me, but I can't hit him. He's constantly accelerating. So I'm not sure how he's turning better than what I am. He's just going in circles the whole time. Damn it, this is what just wasting my Alpha three, locked on. Come on, come on, come on, hit him. Nah, he's maneuvering. Missile. Missile incoming. 
I don't understand how he's able to turn harder than me. I've got the max pitch stuff as well. Or oh, I'm going for someone else because that guy, I don't know what's up with him. It's just super annoying. Thirty seconds left. Everyone just flies in circles, man. It's so annoying. Oh, and I used flares and it did nothing. That guy again! How's he getting me? He's cheating, man. He has to be. I'm pretty sure we're cross players with PC people, so that's why. There's no way that plane can outmaneuver mine. Combat time's up. We'll oh well, I did alright. I wonder what he uses for his parts. That was so bad. It must be to do with lag as well, because they're all in Asia. Yeah, I don't understand that. I had the highest accuracy. <laughs> Yet that guy was always hitting me with his low accuracy weapons. <laughs> and while I was in mid-turn, whereas mine were just... Yeah, useless. He left. It's funny that. I notice when like people just seem to do like unreal stuff that just seem like too good to be true, they just leave, which is pretty much confirmation that they're cheating. They don't want to stay in the same lobby for too long. So the multi-purpose burst missile, we'll try it, we'll give that a try now. I did like that set that I was using, I was just getting super unlucky with not getting the hits. Because I was just fo focused on that person. Jeez, just QIM spam. How? Just a regular missile got me. This is going to be bullshit, man. Missile. 
Yeah, I need to use that electromagnetic warfare thing. I wish I could change. It's just... He's just spamming. I don't... How is he getting it to reload so fast, though? That's what I want to know. It's just reloading so fast. His one and mine was so slow. Every time! He just knows what, exactly when I'm coming for him, even though I've got stealth. There was no missile on me. Jeez, this guy's host as well, so that's how he's able to get everyone. My own bomb exploded and killed me. Combat time's up. We lost. Don't let it happen again. Yeah, it looks like that um, electronic warfare thing's the way to go. Because that range for that multi-purpose missile can't handle it. Highest accuracy, avoided the greatest number of incoming missiles. I'm just going to use the electronic warfare shit. <laughs>
Okay. It's two of us using the electronic warfare stuff, so hopefully we can help out our mate who's using the multi-purpose bombs. He should... Well, I was able to hit 3,000 score with mine, so... I don't know how he got me. Oh. That's how. Did I take someone down though at the same time or just did I or did I just get a hit? No. Oh, we crashed into each other. Oh, no, we didn't. That was weird. My missiles just keep missing. This plane's just no good at the po postal maneuvers. It's so bad.
damn it. I just couldn't get hits again. I don't understand why I've got the max homing stuff for the standard missiles. Wow, I did so bad. I couldn't hit anyone. I was just getting spammed with missiles though. Constant was probably the one getting targeted the most. Yeah, because I avoided the greatest number of incoming missiles, so I had the most of the missiles bloody going for me. <laughs> ah, it's because they know I'm not Asian. And the, the Asians are hosting, so they know they can pick on me because they're the ones got the host stuff, even though they've got the bad internet. Since I've got the best internet in the world, gigabit per second, fiber. Um, you want to change something? I can add more to the arms. I can't believe it adds like, mobility though, but... <laughs> I guess missile flight speed's pretty important. I am going to try that. I'm going to take off the engine and I'm going to... Oh, I don't have enough for it. Okay. That's going to be very annoying. Nah, screw this guy, he's just a spammer. That's just a bloody bitch little circle flyer. Ah, oh, and of course the cloud screwed up my shit. Wow, just as I used my ammo. I don't understand how he got me. Look at him, he's just going around in circles. 
and no one's going for him, so he's able to do what he likes. And I can't go for him because my missiles don't hit him because he's lagging. Where is he? Look at that, they missed. Wow, I used my flares. Oh, it was a UAV. Yes, the UAV. No, he got me with his cannon somehow. I don't know how, considering I was turning so tight. They seem to avoid everything I fire at them by turning, and they're going full speed, isn't? But I go tight, so I can turn tighter. Wait, I fly slow, so I can fly tighter, and it has no effect. Ugh. Oh, of course it doesn't lock on. He's using the laser on his. Only just lost. Got shot down the most here because I'm always being targeted. Even though I'm flying the slowest average speed to get the faster or the tighter turn in, like the game tells you to do, and like what's common sense, but somehow they're able to evade going full speed turns. So I'm not sure what's up with that, but oh well. Anyway, I'm gonna call it quits for the, um, for the sitting. We'll have a quick look at that new typhoon. Um, that new typhoon skin. Um, if any of you guys have recommendations of an aircraft set I should, could or should use, that would be. Um, I'd appreciate that. If you've got any suggestions.
No, it wouldn't be the special skin, it would be the Arusia skin. Ah. Not bad. I wish I could see the stats. Anyway. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that or got to see some of the... See if you'd like to use that plane or not. If you think it's viable. I think it's definitely viable in certain situations. It's just... Yeah, there's just some annoying things, but like the mobility or maneuverability, it says it's meant to be a very maneuverable aircraft and it feels like it handles like dog crap, to say the least, just like the Falcon and the Raven even, is the Wyvern, it definitely handles like a dream, same with the SU-57. Um, I'm trying to think if that has. Oh, never mind, I was going to sit. I'm trying to remember if it had a little code name. It does have a code name, a NATO name. The, no, the PACFA was the um, prototype. Anyway, I'm getting distracted there. Um, yeah, so if you um, want to see more content and stuff, hit that follow button so you're going to get notified when I want to go live next, whatever I like, go live next with. Also, be exporting this to my YouTube channel. So, if you're interested in checking that out, you can do so by following the little link underneath my live stream panel. Um, I play clips and stuff there, so that's one of the benefits of that because I can't do that to here. And um, drop a comment on stuff you'd like to see me do next, or things you think I could do better with, or just general constructive criticism, or even pop in and say hey, or to drop me some recommendations of aircraft sets, parts, and stuff, and maybe skins, a combination of skins, emblem, parts weapon that you'd like to see and um yeah hope everyone's having a great day and great night wherever in the world you are peace out everyone have a great one